yo 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 what up ladies and gentlemen so i have a new video for you guys of course it's about the nigerian prince rama meeting cardi b and offset in paris <laughs> so well first of all how is marriage <laughs> how, is that? how are you loving marriage yeah. I love, love it yeah i love marriage is it yeah. is it difficult because you know he's a celebrity and you're a celebrity and it's like when he defends you, it's bigger because he is a celebrity. So if somebody yeah. says something he, and he defends you, it's, it's bigger because it's, it's set. You know what I mean? Does that bother you? Does that take a toll on your marriage relationship? You know what takes a toll on me? What takes a toll on me really is because, like, a lot of people like, like, people don't fucking, a lot of people don't fucking like me. So when people attack him because he's, like, attached to me, I don't like that shit. Like, it's mm -hmm. just like, I feel like it's like, oh my gosh. But um, other than that, like, I love being married and like, we, we are a partnership. Like, you know, you know what it is like to be married and of course. it's just like, it, it feels different. Like, it yeah. just, it feels different than like a relationship. It mm -hmm. just really feels like a, a union. Yeah. And it's like, I got your back, you got my back, mm -hmm. no matter what, no matter the bullshit. Do y'all feel like y'all share too much? Cause y'all are beef. And then the world yeah, like, hate, social hate, media. hate yeah. both of y'all. And then a day later, y'all back together holding hands. <laughs> and that's <laughs> only because it goes to social media. Right, yeah, right. That's that's what, that's do you feel like y'all shared too much on social media? It was just one time. It was just that one. That was crazy. Th that, that was crazy. It was just one time because motherfuckers was, was, was gone. We was mm -hmm. dr drunk, popping shit. Like, yeah. I right, bitch. All right, you, you, you want to do that? I right, do that. Oh, no, bitch. I'm going to beat you to it. <laughs> oh, shit. You really did beat me to it, bitch. You see, now you're stupid, bitch. Now I'm going to really violate you. So, hold on. He said that to you. He's like, I'm going to get online and tell people you, you cheated on me. Somebody. Yeah. You cheated on me. And, I'm, and I don't understand why he even said that. He know he was. That had to wrong. come from someplace. Did it come from someplace? He just told you where it came from. So y'all just arguing. You we were just arguing. And they was just arguing. So you told him that, and you was playing. What? I you never told him that. Oh. Okay. I never told him that. So why never. you do that? What would y'all drink? So I don't never drink that shit. You don't he, drink I'm, anyway. I'm a Henny girl. He's a Casamigo guy. Uh, mm. I imagine they climb. I mean, the higher grounds, higher levels that this guy did go. Now I just get people where they don't they, they don't they promote <laughs> they don't they promote the country, you understand? <laughs> but you know the funny thing. I was surprised to see Nigerian fans actually making fun of upset saying, Oh, he's looking for a I mean <laughs> a hot hundred tune, a hot hundred tune from <laughs> From Rema, do you think, do you think, God, I guess that this is some of you, this Niger fans, if you take your time, Rema is doing quite well, but don't, don't take that as a yastic to sort of compare him to Afset. Do you know, I mean, Afset, he, he was a member of the, that popular Migos hip hop brand. And you want to tell us that it is Afset who is actually looking for a billboard or tandem tune from, I mean, come on. In that video, you could see the time that uh, Rema actually met them. They were sort of, uh, I mean, out track, or should I say, star track, star star what track. <laughs> because Afset's wife, Cardi B, couldn't just stop recording Rema, you know. And, you know, the Nigerian star is very humble how he managed to record that chat topping calm down single with selena gomez uh niger fans want to see uh, you know how he, he he changed the life of selena gomez forever and she actually took to instagram to appreciate that young man's contribution to her music career the nigerian fans are thinking that it is rema who, 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 who is supposed to resurrect uh, what do you call offset music career but that's never the case the opposite is actually true i think uh, some of you might already know that uh, offset actually has featured rema in the song they both featured in one kind uh, recording so don't don't make it seem like oh it, it is just the Nigerian boy who is now the star over Offset. It is never like that. 
May the French producer Stani release a debut single called Only You, Only You, Only You. And it featured what? Rama and upset. Understand? So Nigerian music, they go global, they turn, but I don't take this as a yardstick to make it seem like <laughs> Rama the small boy. <laughs> Always bigger than upset. I saw as they write it, and I was like, Yo, what are you guys telling me? What are you guys trying to say? Niger <laughs> boys, eh? they <laughs> if you praise Nigerians, eh? they look happy, but when you criticize them, then they, they, they come out, <laughs> they come out after you. <laughs> oh, right now, Nigerian music, you know, see, they go, they go, they glow, glow, they glow, glow, but you understand. Know, I'm not saying go. It's a glue, 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 but I understand. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. I, I think. This guy is so boy. This one more guy. Yeah. He's just going to overtake Bernard Boy very soon. Yes, what? Bernard Boy laid the foundation, but you ask yourself who is a better singer? Remember, calls himself a Afro Riff, Afro Riff musician. While Mr. Benner also claims he does Afro fusion. These people, every every singer wants to establish a music genre on his own. Is this good for the music industry? They don't want to follow the Afro uh, Afro beat uh, tech. They want to take it to different different things. But they are all subcategories. But whatever, whatever they do, whether you are doing Afro fusion, Afro riff, <laughs> Afro pop. Or whatever you call it, you can give it any name, but once you listen, Afro beat, that just use it as a term, a classic term to categorize all sounds coming out from what African country it is as simple as that. <laughs> uh -huh. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy that. Looking forward to bigger projects because. Uh, the time for the motion subscribe to this channel if you haven't leave a comment and of course i'll be seeing you guys uh in more upcoming releases i have a lot of projects coming a lot of new 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 videos coming up for you guys uh big shout out to all my fans in nigeria you know i'm a superstar <laughs> so i've got my fans in nigeria they criticize them sometimes but uh, I mean it's all part of the game you have to take it like that sometimes you don't have to stay mute stuck it Niger fans feel free to criticize Ghana me too <laughs> if you don't they do things well I will talk 